get me my drink. Um, so so we is our back again with another video today. We're watching season five, episode three of Game of Thrones. Um, let's get into it. No intro. Fuck it. Skip this. Maybe I should have done it. Done a intro. We haven't seen Bran in a while. And that was like some juicy, like we were getting to the juicy part too. Is she getting trained Mr. Miyagi style where she just does chores and then she learns all the skills to become an assassin? I've been sweeping this floor for days. Good. I didn't come here to sweep floors. No? Why come then? You said I could be your apprentice. You said you'd teach me how to be a faceless man. A man teaches a girl. See, Mr. Miyagi, man. Why not Iris? All men must serve. Faceless men most of all. You gotta sweep the floors before I you learn how to, like... Start killing people. A girl wants to serve herself. Here we serve the many faced God to serve well. A girl must become no one. Which one's the many faced God? Oh Keep shit, it's like a fucking it's um. God. I see the wayward face. It's like there a metaphor, you know? If you want to wear other people's a faces, you gotta lose your own face. And all men know his <laughs> gift. You gotta lose yourself, you know? You had to become water, shapeless. The guy just fucking die. You have to be, yeah. You have to be like shapeless, like water. Wait, is this like a training room? Are these also recruits? I'm very curious now. That guy either died or he passed the test. Maybe you have to die to like become like lose yourself, you know what I mean? To the good parts of the show. Did I hurt you? No, you were lovely. It all happened so fast. Yes. I was scared. Maybe I hurt you. It, it sounded. No, like... no, no. You're very sweet. The sweetest king who ever lived. This is all I want to do, all day, every day, for the rest of my life. <laughs> Wouldn't that be glorious? <laughs> Shouldn't we rest a little while? Just to catch our breath. There's no rush, is there? Of course not. Does your mother like it here? I don't think so. She told me never to trust anyone in King's Landing. It's so wonderful to have her watching over you. A lioness guarding her cub. Well, but I'm a man now. Oh, he's gonna turn. She's gonna turn yeah. the son against the mom. And the king. But you'll always be her baby boy. I suppose. I adore her. She's always been so generous with me, so kind. 
and the horrors she's had to endure. Losing her husband, her eldest child, and her father. It's no wonder she's so protective of you. She'll never let you out of her sight. Mm-hmm. The seeds of manipulation. The first days of marriage are often so blissful. She's certainly very pretty, isn't she? Like a doll. She smiles quite a lot. Do you think she's intelligent? I can't quite tell. Not that it matters. Do you ever miss Castle Rock? There's nothing for me in Castle Rock. But that's where you grew up. You always told me that you liked the people there better. You said that King's Landing smelled of horse dung and sour milk. <laughs> Why are we speaking of Castle Rock? The way that you talked about it. I always thought that you missed it. That you... That it was your real home. This is my real home now. Where my family lives. I want you to be happy, Mother. Send her bitch ass to Castle Rock. I know you do. My sweet boy. But wouldn't you be happier in Castle Rock? I said darling. Surely four times is enough. Are you trying to set a new record? And he said, well, what is the record? I'm sure we can break it. <laughs> Mother. Welcome. Don't you look lovely? Marriage agrees with you. Can we bring you anything to eat or drink? I wish we had some wine for you. It's a bit early in the day for us. Bruh. No, no, I... I can't stay. I just wanted to let you know if there's ever anything I can do for you. You were very sweet. Tommen seems quite taken with his new queen. I absolutely adore him. You raised a gallant young man. I'm forever grateful. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear you're happy. Ecstatic. I really am. Exhausted, to be honest, but... <laughs> What could I expect? He is half lion, half stag. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Oh, forgive me. I haven't been at court for long. I get so confused. What's the proper way to address you now? Queen Mother or Dowager Queen? There's no need for such formalities. In any event, judging from the King's enthusiasm, the Queen Mother will be a Queen Grandmother soon. Wouldn't that be a lovely day? Can you imagine the celebrations? Queen They'll ring grandma. the bells all day and night. Remember. Anything you need. Cersei's switching it up. I think Cersei realized that um Tommen <laughs> or Margarine has Tommen wrapped around her finger. So Cersei's gotta do a little boot kissing from you know, from here on on. We don't have enough men to hold the north if the other houses rise up against us. Do you understand that? And our pact with the Lannisters protects I had a pact with Tywin Lannister, and Tywin Lannister is dead. The remaining Lannisters are a thousand miles away dealing with that pact. They have never once in the history of the Seven Kingdoms sent their army this far north. If you think they will for us, you're a fool. We become a great house by entering into alliances with other houses and parlaying those alliances into greater power. The best way to forge a lasting alliance isn't by peeling a man's skin off. The best way is marriage. Mm, now that you're a bold makes sense. By royal decree, it's high time you married a suitable bride. 
And as it happens, I found the perfect girl to solidify our hold on the North. Who? What the f- No, no. 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 Oh, this better not be her, bro. <laughs> Sa yes. Sansa's it's really about to fucking me. marry this dude. You've been here before. On our way down to King's Landing with my father and Arian. Where are you taking me? Home. The Boltons have Winterfell. Your marriage proposal, it wasn't for you. No. Bruce Bolton murdered my brother. He betrayed my family. He did. He serves the Lannisters. For now. I won't go. Winterfell is your home. Not anymore. Always. You're a Stark. Dying your hair doesn't change that. Your Sansa Stark. Eldest surviving child of Ned and Catelyn Stark. Your place is in the North. I can't marry him. You can't make me. He is a traitor. A murderer. You're not marrying Bruce Bolton. Oh, okay, no, we'll nice. be marrying his son and heir, Ramsay. One day he'll be warden of the North, and no. you, will... Sansa. No, you can't make me. I will starve myself. I will die before I have to go there. I won't force you to do anything. Don't you know by now how much I care for you? Say the word and we'll turn the horses round. But listen to me. Listen. You've been running all your life. Terrible things happen to your family, and you weep. You sit alone in a darkened room, mourning their fates. You've been a bystander to tragedy from the day they executed your father. Stop being a bystander. Do you hear me? Stop running. How does Lord Baelish profit from this? There's no justice in the world. Not unless we make it. You loved your family. Avenge them. So she gets married, they form an alliance, they hold the north, and Baelish controls Sansa? That's the only way I could think Baelish profits? Maybe they get married and then they like fucking kill Ramsey. How do we get through there? Lord Commander? Your Grace. I'd like to speak alone? Ollie is my steward now. As I was Lord Commander Mormons. Oh shit, I forgot about that. To learn from men with experience. One day he might come up. Very well. Have you considered my offer? I have. And I thank you for it. You do me great honor. All my life I wanted to be John Stark. Say the word and you will be. Nope. But I have to refuse you. I'm Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. My place is here. I'm giving you the chance to avenge your family. To take back the castle where you grew up. To rule the North. I wish I could fight beside you. I mean, he is ruling the North, let's be honest. Too. Right, like... But I swore he has a sacred vow at the, gods. the whole fucking wall. I pledged my life you know what I mean? the Night's Watch. You're as stubborn as your father. And as honorable. I can imagine no higher praise. I didn't mean it as praise. Honor got your father killed. But if your mind's made up, I won't try and dissuade you. May I ask your grace how long you plan to stay at Castle Black? Are you bored of us already? He saved us from Mance Raider's army. We will never forget that. But it's a question of survival. 
The Night's Watch can't continue to feed your men and the wildling prisoners indefinitely. Mm. Winter is coming. I know it. We march on Winterfell within a fortnight before the snows trap us here. Get the you fuck. He kicked you out, bro. Burn and fight for me, so be it. I leave their fate to you. You could execute them, that's the safest course. Or you could see if this torment fellow's more willing to compromise than Mance ever was. I assume the brothers of the Night's Watch would rather see the wildlings dead. Most of the brothers, yes. Mm. There's little love for the free folk here. You're the Lord Commander. Your decision. You have many enemies in Castle Black. Have you considered sending Alice a thorn elsewhere? Give him command of Eastwatch by the sea. I heard it was best to keep your enemies close. Whoever said that didn't have many enemies. I am the sword in the darkness, the watcher on the walls, the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my Wait, life. Wait, that's enough. The shield that guards the realms of men. That's what you swore to be. Now, I'm not a learned man, but the best way to help the most people might not be sitting in a frozen castle at the edge of the world. It just might mean waiting in the muck, getting your boots dirty, and doing what needs to be done. Good what points, sure. As long as the Boltons rule the North, the North will suffer. Just one man's opinion. Well, Sansa... ...is about to get married to the Boltons. So Sansa can, you know, do some, you know, manipulation, you know, take a note from Marjorie, <laughs> Marjorie, and uh, maybe, uh, you know, take over the Boltons. What do you want? Who are you? Nobody. What? You, who walk in here with a coin you never earned, whose value you do not respect. Who are you? No one. <laughs> She's smart. Sad lie. Sad little lie. Yeah, she knows it. That's smart. Do that again. Who are you? I would have said no one too. You're about to find out. What are you doing? We were only playing. The game of faces. A girl is not ready. Clearly not. I am ready. For what? For whatever you want. To be a faceless man. To be no one. Whose sword is that? It belongs to Arya Stark. Arya Stark's sword, Arya Stark's clothes, Arya Stark's stolen silver. And man wonders, how is it that no one has can be surrounded Ooh. by Arya Stark's things? Shit. Get <laughs> you're gonna lose everything, man. You, dude, it's like the fucking Avatar. Um, that one dude who like flew in the Avatar. No, he's not Le Avatar. The Legend of Korra. He like started flying, and it's like, uh, in order to fly, you had to lose all like possessions, whatever the fuck. Everything tying you to the earth. So she has to lose everything that's um. That makes her her. Not the sword, man. I would at least put it somewhere respectful. But maybe you fail, like, the test, then. I wonder how much stuff's in that river. It's 
See, she's hot. See. You gotta hide the. Where are they going? They're gonna steal his face. So is this like part two? What the fuck is going on? The, the second test? What do we do with them after we Oh left shit. Them? I just fucking sneezed. Steal their face. I kind of like how Jon Snow and Arya Stark are both, um... They kind of, like... Had to lose themselves, you know what I mean? Open like Arya Stark has to be no one to become the faceless, and then Jon Snow had to give up all his vows and become, you know, or not give up all his vows, you know, like take the vow and become, you know, uh, watcher of the or a Night's Watch, watcher of the wall. Dude, it's, it's starting to get cold, man. Winter is coming, actually, in real life, too. Welcome. Lord Bolton. May I introduce my son? Ramsay Bolton. Gordon Ramsay here. It's an honor to meet you. My lady. These girls look jealous. Who the fuck are those? I'll bring you a bowl of hot water. You must want to wash. Thank you. Welcome home, Lady Stark. The North remembers. The North remembers. Sir Alistair. You have more experience than any other ranger at Castle Black. You proved your valor many times over while defending the wall from the wildling attack. I name you first ranger. Sweet. No pity stuff. Lord Janus, I'm giving you command of Greyguard. Greyguard is a ruin. Yes, the fort is in a sorry state. Restore it as best you can. First build a yard can spare ten I of I was it. charged with the defense of King's Landing when you were soiling your swaddling clothes. Keep your room. All right, all right. All right. It's enough of that. You mistake me, my lord. That was a command, not an offer. Pack your arms and armor, say your farewells, and ride for Greyguard. Period. I will not go meekly off to freeze and die. Give it to one of the fools who cast a stone for you. I will not have it. Did you hear me, boy? I will not have it. Are you refusing to obey my order? You can stick your order <clears throat> up your bastard ass. 
You can't let that stand, dude. You're the new lord. Take it outside. Take Lord Janus outside. Damn straight. Ollie, bring me my sword. You can't, you're the new commander. You can't let that shit slide. Now the real question is, is he going to do it? I think this guy is going to say no, I'm not going to watch the north. And he's going to chop his head off. If you have any last words, my lord, now's the time. Wrong. You're the Lord Commander. We all serve you. I'm sorry, not only for this, for all I've done and said. I was wrong. My Lord, please, mercy. Mercy. I'll go, I will. Please. I'm afraid. I've always been afraid. I mean, he said, did, I mean, he did, that was like two strikes, he, he, he did say he was going to watch it though. What is going on here? What is this? You have served us well. My son. Is Thank that a you, fake father. beard? Which of the seven will you worship today? The maiden. Always the maiden. Look, is that a fake? That is, that's a stranger. Two is extra, you realize. Yes, yes. That is legit the fakest beard I've ever seen. It's so fake. I don't know if it's supposed to be fake or what. What are you doing? This establishment belongs to Lord Peter Baelish. You can't. Oh, it is you fake. Have defamed our faith. It was the faith fake. of our fathers and forefathers. I am the High Septon of the. You are a sinner. Oh, isn't this um? You shall be punished. Uh, Cersei's um cousin. Oh. Ouch, man. Now relax. You're great. Send a raven with this message to Littlefinger at the Eyrie or wherever he's slithering about. At once, your grace. How's your work coming along? Very well. His work. You've made progress? More what is he making? Still a way to go. Open. Very good. I'll leave you to it then. They Make keep... sure little finger is clear on the meaning of the word. This is interesting. I've noticed this. They keep on saying his work. Like, right? his, like, um... Is that gonna move in the back? That sheet, is it gonna move? I'm fucking genius. 
they keep I noticed this too they keep on saying his work and they was like oh can I borrow this head for work and, I, and then they never really like went into detail and I just noticed it when she said that she was like you know you start talking about his work and then they did the, the unfocused background with the sheet so that is this guy making like Frankenstein or something what is he doing he is lovely I hope I can make her happy. I hope so too. I've become quite fond. I have to get out of this wheelhouse. Atlantis is a large city. I have to get out of this wheelhouse. The likelihood of you being spotted here increases a hundredfold. Mm, I have to get out of this wheelhouse. I'm not sure how many new ways I can find of saying this. I will not be of any use to Daenerys Targaryen if I lose my mind. I can't remember the last face I saw that wasn't yours. How long has it face. been? Uh, he he has mind. grown a if full beard. You, you lose more than that. Look, we are thousands of miles from Westeros. <clears throat> what am I? A child. One more drunk dwarf. Oh. I would pretend to be a kid. Masters are very is that organized. a hand on a fucking stick? I was gonna say, dude, it looks so easy to steal from this place. I was gonna say that. Like, you could just t fucking take, like, a fruit off, like, a... Like, a, off a, a platter. And then just, like, dip. But, uh, I guess that's, those are what the hands are for. To show that, uh, stealing is not allowed here. Oh, shit. We should keep moving. It's good. Better luck to suck a dwarf's cock. <laughs> See? We blend right in. Just two more travelers, mad with lust. Ooh. Ooh. Who inspires priests and oh shit taking seriously. What makes you worth that much? Of course you can. You're shy. I'm not. Have another drink. Gladly, but this I can't do. Believe me, no one is more shocked than I am. I hope it passes. What will I do in my spare time? Go for a piss, that's a start. That looks like the worst place to take a pee ever. No need to worry. I was just. Oh. Thought you were someone else. The show's almost over. I'm sure there are girls inside who'd be happy to oblige. Made some kind of mistake. Why don't you tell me what you think you're doing and then. <laughs> I'm taking you to the Queen. <laughs> we're always there for like four seconds, man. Oh, back to King's Landing. I guess we go. Oh, 
pretty good episode. I wish we seen more of uh, Bran, Brandon. We uh, we're starting to get into that magic, you know, with uh, his powers and how it works. I'm also really excited to see how like the uh, shape shifting works and all that. I still don't know if it's like magic or the gods or where the, like the magic power comes from. I assume it's gods at this. It has to be gods at this point. There's no. There's been no talk of like inner, you know, inner magic. It's all about like gods. And uh, the shapeshifter, he said that he worships the god of the faceless or something somewhere along along those lines. So I wonder, like, if you, like, be, like, uh become a follower of him then you get like certain powers and then the more you rank up <laughs> the more powers you get that's i can only assume i can only assume uh miss cilantro is the uh praises the lord uh, the lord of fire and she can like see the future through the fire and shit like that so I'm pretty sure she's pretty high up there. What else do we have? Brand. He has his powers to see the future also. But he doesn't have to look through the fire though. Miss, uh, Miss, Miss Salandra. Miss Salandra. Salandra? I, dude, I still can't say her name. If I seen it, I could say it. She needs, like, the fire to see... Like, she needs the king... Uh, royal blood, right? And she puts the royal blood in the flames, and then she says their name, and then they die. Uh, she also said she had visions... Um, of the future. But she's not a warg. Brand has... Can see the future. And he's a warg. But Brandon's also special too. Like not all wargs have that ability. So. So I don't know if Bran is special. And he gets his powers from within. Or if it's from the gods. And the gods chose him. Very complicated. Very complicated. And the White Walkers. What's their, what's their deal? Right? Uh, Khaleesi's, she brought Drogo back to life. But he was like, of, you know, he didn't have any, like, he couldn't talk, he couldn't do anything. I don't, I don't think he could move. He had no emotions. But the White Walkers, they are undead. But they seem way more intelligent. They seem to have, like, a purpose. And we know that the White Walkers are magical creatures, right? Um, because they can, uh, well, obviously, duh, they're magic, but, like, it's not like a virus, it's not like Walking Dead, right? They're, like, it's, it's magical. We also know that the White Walkers can be brought to life as skeletons. They don't need, like, muscle or meat or flesh. They can just be skeletons. Um, so I wonder if there is a there is a necromancer, you know, maybe a human that is bringing White Walkers uh, back to life, or if the White Walk, the, you know, or maybe like someone turned themselves into a White Walker and then now they have the ability to turn others um, into White Walkers. Also, a side note, we never seen someone turn into a White Walker before. Except for the leader who touched the baby, right? The guy, like, touched the baby's head, the baby turned into a White Walker. Which is also kind of weird, because I thought you can only turn into a White Walker when you die. But, the baby was alive. So I wonder if that's, like, a special type of White Walker. So many questions, so many questions. But other than that, I have no idea how people turn into White Walkers. My theory is... There's, like, the... The, like, there's, like, good, like, strong as fuck White Walkers. 
I mean, there's like the like the minions, right? The skeletons, I guess. You know, like the normal zombies, and then like the skeletons below that. And I think when you die, and you become a White Walker, you become like the middle, right? The middle part. And after like years of your body decaying, you become a skeleton, right? And the ones at the very top are the ones that were a baby, and then they turn into like a lot. Like they were still alive, and then they turned. Many questions. Don't answer this any in these comments, by the way. I don't want any spoilers, but these are just like thoughts I have. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Later, peace.